So today we're talking about taking the limits off God. If you're trusting God for a job, or you're trusting Him for a spouse, if you're trusting Him for a child, or if you're trusting Him for a sale of your home in a time when the market looks really dire, or you're trusting Him for an increase at work, or a new job, or a friend, it doesn't matter. All of these things are possible because God is amazing. He is a miraculous God. Let's read Job 38 and I encourage you in your own time to go ahead and read Job 38 and 39. It's amazing. The Lord spoke to Job out of the storm and he said, who is this that obscures my plans with words without knowledge? Brace yourself like a man. I will question you and you shall answer me. Where were you when I laid the earth's foundation? Tell me if you understand. Who marked off its dimensions? Surely you know. Who stretched a measuring line across it? Oh, what were its footings set? Or who laid its cornerstone? While the morning stars sang together and all the angels shouted for joy. Who set up the sea behind the doors when it burst forth from the womb? When I made the clouds its garment and wrapped it in thick darkness, when I fixed limits for it and set its doors and bars in place, when I said, this far you may come and no farther, here is where your proud waves halt. Have you ever given orders to the morning or shown the dawn its place that it might take the earth by the edges and shake the wicked out of it? The earth takes shape like clay under a seal. Its features stand out like those of a garment. The wicked are denied their light and their unpraised arm is broken. Have you journeyed to the springs of the sea or walked on the recesses of the deep? Have the gates of death been shown to you? Have you seen the gates of the deepest darkness? Have you comprehended the vast expanses of the earth? Tell me if you know all this. What is the way to the abode of light and where does darkness reside? Can you take them to their places? Do you know the paths to their dwellings? Surely you know, for you were already born. You have lived so many years. Have you entered the storehouses of the snow or seen the storehouses of hail? which I reserve for times of trouble, for days of war and battle. What is the way to the place where the lightning is dispersed, or the place where the east winds are scattered over the earth? Who cuts a channel for the torrents of rain and a path for the thunderstorm, to water a land where no one lives, an uninhabited desert, to satisfy a desolate wasteland and make a sprout with grass? Does the rain have a father? Who fathers the drops of dew? From whose womb comes the ice. Who gives birth to the frost from the heavens when the waters become hard as stone, when the surface of the deep is frozen? Can you bind the chains of the Pleiades? Can you loosen Orion's belt? Can you bring forth the constellations in their seasons or lead out the bear with its cubs? Do you know the laws of the heavens? Can you set up God's dominion over the earth? Can you raise your voice to the clouds and cover yourself with a flood of water? Do you send the lightning bolts on their way? Do, you, do they report to you? Here we are. Who gives the ibis wisdom or gives the rooster understanding? Who has the wisdom to count the clouds? Who can tip over water jars of heavens when the dust becomes hard and the clods of earth stick together? Do you hunt the prey for the lioness and satisfy the hunger of lions? When they crouch in their dens or lie in the weight in a thicket, who provides food for the raven when its young cry out to God and wander about for the lack of food? Now, Job 39 is also epic and amazing, so go read that as well. I'm not going to read it now, but this is God, one of the places where we see God's majesty, his amazingness, him declaring his own greatness and power and might. And this is a reminder to us to say, if God is, this is the kind of God we serve. He created everything. So all the way from the Old Testament, we see that God has been doing extraordinary things. He created the universe. He parted the Red Sea. He saved um, his nation, Israel. He took them into the promised land. He helped them to win multiple battles. He saved them so many times despite the things that happened to them. And then you have the whole Old Testament where he kept doing miracle after miracle, saving people, being true to his promises. You come into the New Testament, we have Jesus where he did multiple miracles. And this is the character of God. He's showing us consistently in the Bible, this is who I am. I am a way maker. I am true to my word. If you are thinking that God can't do something that you're trusting him for, get deeper in his word and try to understand his character. Try to see how amazing God is. Sing worship songs that point your eyes to who God is, to his character, to his power, that he is almighty, that he is all knowing, that he is powerful and he can do all of these things because that is who he is. And this is 
the God that you serve. And if you're also thinking that maybe you don't deserve the thing that you're asking for, in this case, I encourage you, get into the word to see who you are in Christ. Because when we understand that from the position of being heirs with Jesus, being the righteousness of God in Christ, being these children of God that have been adopted into this kingdom so that we are, we can truly say that this is our father. He sees us through the finished work of his son. We are then his sons and daughters. And when you get that perspective, it will truly change how you see God and how you actually go to him, pray to him, ask him for things, how you expect things of him. That's going to change completely. Honestly, there is no limit to what God can do. And we should not be limited by what we think or believe of him in our human capacity. We know that we can take the limits of God and trust him for miraculous, amazing things this month in May. So that's it for today, guys. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we're so thankful that we get to stand before you, God, every single day, clothed in the righteousness of Jesus, that we get to come before you, your children. We come to you as a father, trusting you today to open our eyes. If there is anything that we believe that we have misunderstood about your character, about who you are, Lord, and all the things that you can do, I pray today that we will be free from those misunderstandings, that you will reveal yourself to us more and more each day in your word, in our beliefs, Lord, help us to change our beliefs and our thoughts to actually be in line with your word as we take the limits of our faith father we trust you this month for every single miracle we trust you for the praise for the deepest desires that nobody even knows that we have the dreams that we're too scared to even admit that we have or to even articulate out loud god we trust you for that release and that you can do great and wonderful things and that as we pray and as we believe and ask it that we receive it and we accept whatever it is lord in whatever form you choose to answer our prayers that we receive that and we accept it in the name of Jesus. Amen. And if you enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing. If you have anything you want to let me know, write it down in the comments below, especially if it's a testimony. And I will see you in the next video.